Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in our previous video tutorial, we have shown a ad, a banner ad at a bottom of our app screen by making use of bottom navigation bar. Okay, so in this video tutorial, we are gonna create a list of item and then in between them, we are gonna place an ad. So as you can see here, I have created a list of items and then in between them, in random places, the ads got displayed okay so let's begin with the tutorial okay so before starting with the tutorial what i will do is i will just move my existing admob code in a separate file so that it can easy for us to fetch the ad id or anything okay so let's begin so here i will just create a new dart file by name admob helper Okay, so first of all, I need to just import our package that is Google AdMob Ad. So if you don't know what is this, uh, I have added, uh, I'm making use of a package that is Google Mobile Ad to, to show ads in my app. So this is the package. So here I will just create a class AdMob Helper. So if you have not watched our previous video tutorial, just uh, visit it and watch it. So it will be easy for you to understand this code. Okay. So here I will just create a object of type string, not an object, a method, a getter method that will return a banner ad unit. Okay. So this is the banner ad. I will just make use of this test ID and paste it over here okay and then I need to make use of static uh, initialization initialization so here in this initialization I will check that if the mobile ad is already been initialized or no mobile ad instance is equal to equal to null if it is null then we will initialize it add instance dot initialize okay so this we have done directly in from the main dot dat file here okay so as you can see over here so now i'm making use of this helper to initialize it so in this main page i need to call this initialization so for that i will just remove this and i will just import admob helper sorry helper dot initialize okay so this will call this function and the admob ad will admob ad instance will get initialized for the first time okay and then i need to create a instance uh, class means i can say it as getter uh, that will return a banner ad get banner ad okay so in this method, I just need to copy this banner ad. Okay, so here after that, it will just return the banner ad from where it was requested. Okay, so that's it in this code. And now let's move to uh, main.dat file. So over here, I will just remove this. There is no need of this. So here I have just initialized by making use of admob helper. Okay. And then here instead of here in this add, add widget. So here I can make use of admob add helper dot get banner add dot double dot load. Okay. So this will this uh, add widget will call our admob helper asking for get add means banner ad and this will load our admob ad banner ad in our app okay so let now let's begin with creating a list of items in our app so i will just uh, fast forward over here so here i will just make use of for statement to add data to our array list for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 20 i need 20 items in our list of items i plus plus and then just add 
data add dot add the items that is i can name it as list item dollar index of i okay so our data is got stored in our array list so i just need to show it in our app so in our body tag over here uh, what i can do is i will make use of list view dot builder so in this builder i will make use of context dot index comma index id this is the index of our items okay and then we we need one more variable or one more property to define the size of our list of items so for that data dot length okay so this will get our length from this data how much uh, list builder should generate the list and over here i just i will just uh, return a list tell so in this list tell i will make use of properties such as title to show a text so the text will come from uh, data dot data index dot uh, the to string okay and then here i can just add a uh, icon i think i can use this okay and i can also use of dragging is getting okay so now let's uh, restart our app to check our ui design okay so our app is running in my device that is connected to usb and this is my device screen as you can see so here are the list of items that got generated so now what i will do is i will just place an add in between them at a random places so let's do it so for that i will just create one more list of item that will be of type object okay and i will just name it as data add okay and then after adding the data after this what i will do is i will just copy the list from this from our list that is data Okay, so what this will do is this will just copy all the data from this data and just paste it in this new list of item in the form of objects okay so now in this object in this list object array list i need to place adds so for that i will make use of for statement int i is equal to one i is less than equal to 2 okay and i plus plus okay so this statement will work for three times means this the three ads will get created okay so for that first of all i need to create a uh, random numbers to place the ads so for that i will make use of random class to generate random number okay so for this you need to import mat dot diet to use that okay and then here i will just create one more variable number random number position is equal to the minimum number plus the random number that will get generated the maximum number is as we know that we have a list of 20 means 20 so this maximum number should get created in between them so i will just give it as 18 something so random number will get generated for from 1 to uh, 2 to 18 okay and then by making use of this i can place the add okay so add data add dot 
insert in which position we need to insert in this position we need to insert our add okay and the element is we need to call add mob helper dot get banner add dot load okay so now in this position means in this generated random number generated position between 18 this add will get placed okay so now we need, need to use this new list of items here so for that here data adds dot length and then here index over here i will check if data adds of index is a string if it is a string then i will just return this widget okay and if it is add then i can i need to create i need to return a container so for that container container i will just uh, what i will do is i will just create a final variable which is of type container add container add content is equal to container and in this I need to pass a add widget so this add widget will add will come from data add of index as typecasted with banner add so as you know that this is the banner add typecast so we need to typecast it and we will just create a unique key for this add okay and then here I need also need to give a height to this container and then finally you need to return the container return add content okay so that's it so now I will just restart our app I will stop it first and then restart okay so app is getting installed let's wait okay so as you can see there is a add in random places after something 10th position okay so there is an error let's check it why it is okay so here i need uh, instead of this old data that is this data i need to make use of this new data that is created data add okay and then let's check once more if any changes is needed needed to be done so i will just restart our app again so as you can see add got placed between them okay so this is because i have just uh, hot real real load i need to restart it so so that it can be visible Okay, so you can see the ad got displayed in our app in two random places in our list view. Okay, so as I, as I said, I need to show uh, three ads. So it is showing two ads because in this for statement, I need to start this index from zero so that this loop can run for three times and ad get published. Okay, so now I will just again restart for showing you. So this time I'm just hot reload. So you can see over here. So just ignore it because I have just uh, reached uh, reloaded it. So you can see first add, second add, and the third add is over here. And this is our bottom navigation bar over here. Okay, so in our next video tutorial, we will show a intestinal ad when a, when a list is being clicked. So that's all for this video tutorial. Hope you got the concept. Please do subscribe Protocoders Point. Thank you.